everyone, it's James with the Fit RV, and our latest RV trip has taken an unexpected turn. Um, we're not where we thought we'd be. Instead, we're at Johnson RV in Sandy, Oregon. We're taking a look at one of the RVs that's on our short list for our next coach. Um, here with Ben Maddox, Katie Bixel. And tell us about what we've got here. That's you. All right, so this is our 2013 Leisure Travel Unity, and this is our island bed model. So there's four floor plans. This is one of four. A um, couple things that you want to look for on the outside here. You've got full body paint. That's one that you see in some later models. You see more gel coat as opposed to full, full body paint. So color's going to last a lot longer. It's going to look the same 10, 20, 30 years down the road. Um, great thing about the island bed model. Lots of storage, so you've got pass-through storage on the outside. And this is something I'm going to be looking at for storing my bikes. i got a whole checklist of stuff here that we're going to check out. Um, any, anything else real quick, and then I'm going to get to it. Yep, fiberglass body, so vacuum bonded walls. It's built for 40 below weather, so going to do great any time of the year, well insulated. All right, I'm going to get to it. Thanks. Awesome. Okay, and here I'm getting right to it, trying to put the bike in this large compartment in the back. I brought the bike all the way to Portland um, to see if it would fit, and unfortunately, it did not. Which is probably a good thing, or we would have been driving that RV back with us to Medford, where it's ours was broken. fixed. Yeah, and I tried with the, uh, with the front wheel off, and I would have been willing to take the back wheel off and get a bottom bracket bike mount to put in there, but it just wasn't going to fit. They missed about five inches. Yeah, so Dean, make that compartment about five inches taller. We've got a new sale. Except for, for 2014, I think they actually went the other way and made yeah. it smaller. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, this is the outside of the coach. Beautiful, beautiful paint job. We like this color, actually. I, I did, did like the color, yeah. yeah. Oh, and of course, there you are, right at home. <laughs> under the RV. Yeah, well, here what I'm looking for is I'm looking underneath to see if there are any water lines underneath. Some Class Bs actually have water lines running underneath, which pretty much makes them useless for taking out in the winter because your water will freeze. And there was his list. That paper was his little checklist of hey, things to check out. 47 point checklist of things that I was looking for on this coach. No water lines. Now I'm going back around to the back to check the, uh, the gray and the black tanks with your list. My right. list has about three things on it that I look for, <laughs> but it's 47. Yeah, well, you don't have to fix anything if it, if it goes <laughs> awry. Right. So, and here's what I found with the uh, gray and black tanks. The tanks are foamed, which is good, um, but no, there's not a heater, and the, uh, the valves and the lines out of them are not. So there are still, and nor is, that's the macerator pump. Oh, there's Katie. Katie's down there on the ground with you. Yeah, um, at this point we're looking for the for the freshwater tank actually, and uh, I, I gotta hand it to the to the folks at Johnson RV. They were on the ground with me. They were looking. They yeah, there she is on the phone with Dean in Canada while she, while we're looking. Yeah, she was she called in looking for something. What was it you were looking for at that time? Uh, Still there, we found it. Uh, it's a freshwater it? tank. It's inside. It's under the bed. So the entire freshwater system is inside, which is a good thing. Yes, you don't have to worry good. about it freezing. Also in this compartment, there's uh, the water pump, the low point drains, and the uh, the inverter, um, and they're all uh, all underneath the bed inside. Bonus. Good deal. All right, now what are we looking at? This is the service module outside. Um, so what I'm looking for here is to see if I could put. I've got a, a rather swanky water pressure regulator to keep from blowing out the, the lines inside. And I'm making sure that there's enough room for that fit. And it looks like there is. Um, also, you can see, you know, drains and outside shower. <laughs> okay, so I found some use for the Itasca Navion <laughs> that was parked next to us. In 2014, I guess you can get a ladder on the back as oh, really? an option. Yeah. I think that would be handy. Um, but they didn't have one on this one, so here I am looking. Notice it's kind of compact. Yeah, it is. So it, it fits better in garages and carports and that sort of thing. All right, interior, here we go. Moving on to the inside. Um, so showing the hot water there, and note there is a bypass. And why is that important? That That's for winterizing. Um, I winterize with compressed air, so I can just blow out the lines. There's a water filter. Good. This. Oh, these are switches. So there are other um, reviews of the Unity on the internet from like Lick Spin Motors or something like that. And one of the things they uh, complain about is that the the switches aren't labeled. And it's just kind of a really nitpicky thing. But there I wanted to show the they switches are, are labeled. labeled. Okay, good. 
All right, so what are you doing here? Um, here I'm looking at the, the service panel where like all the, the switches and gauges and that sort of thing are. I'm looking to see if there's room to add anything, like if I added tank heaters, which this vehicle did not have. If. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well. Come on, you know what's happening. Um, so here we're looking at this table. Now I was not a fan of this table. It's got two of I'm those, you know, press in legs and then on the bottom. It was kind of difficult to remove and it's sort of in the way. And here's it, my test. This is my test. Can I get through to go to the bathroom from <laughs> the co-captain's chair? Yeah, so here I am trying to put the table back. It's easier to put back than it is to actually remove because there's a button on the floor you gotta press and twist. And there's two of these legs and I found it a bit difficult to remove. And then if Steph wants to get back to the to the bathroom while we're underway, which I don't endorse, but I can't stop her. And to any police listening, I would never do that. <laughs> but if she wants to do that, then the table's kind of got to go, and yeah, it, it's really kind of in the way. Yeah, I wonder if we could get that replaced. I'm um, sure we custom could. Custom, yeah, put or in something. a different table because I don't like that table either. It does have the leaves that drop, so you could get around it a little easier, but still. Yeah, but sitting there, your knees hit the leaves, so anyway, moving on. Uh, this is the converter, standard 55 amp converter, and there's plenty of extra fuse slots if you want to run additional accessories or circuitries in the RV, Good. which I'm sure I would. Yes, you would. <laughs> Uh, Velcro. Oh, the Velcro, very happy. Yeah, the cushions won't slide around when you're underway. That was kind of a big deal for us. Yeah, actually. and that's a nice touch, a nice detail that they remember to put in. So, um, shower test. Yeah, so I, I let you do the shower test because it's more of a big deal to you. Okay, the walls were pretty solid, the, the floor was solid. But the, the key thing is rinsing your hair. Apparently this is quite an issue. Yeah, my elbows were hitting, it was so-so. I mean, what do you expect in an RV that small? I, I can work with it. I can make it. Shower I love that it's separate from the bathroom. Oh yeah, so the shower being separate in the IV means someone can use the restroom and scald their partner as someone tends to do. <laughs> Alright, there's the shower door. It was kind of a flimsy plastic material, but I guess that's probably good for an RV. Yeah, I just hope you wouldn't punch through it in Yeah, or it something. did seem a little not too stable. Um, I'm looking at something here that I thought was a nice touch. The, uh, there are two outlets on the sides of the island bed, and they're on the inverter. Um, oh, good. Yeah, what that means is that you can just turn on the inverter and use those to recharge your cell phones right. at night, because that's exactly where I would put my, my phone. So there's one on each side? I have yeah. one too? Oh, yeah. nice. Good job, leisure. Um, so, now they make a big deal in the videos about the heat being ducted, and the heat from the heat pump and the AC is ducted, but the furnace, not ducted. Ooh. So those on the ceiling are for the heat pump and the AC, which, which we may pay, uh, we didn't quite get it. But the furnace, not ducted, so the furnace okay. heat comes out in one spot. Alright, good to note. Space under the vanity, kinda small. Yeah, but I still like the bathroom. I love that it's separate from the shower, I can't get over that. And I was bonus. looking I was looking to see if we could put some sort of soap dispenser under mount so it wouldn't fall off the counter. Not really room for that. We'd have to drill through Corian in order to make that happen anyway. Well, we can get by without a soap dispenser. <laughs> <laughs> I like the soap dispenser. All right. Was that on your list of 47 items? It was, actually. <laughs> so this is the thermostat. Um, it's an all-in-one. There's not separate thermostats for the furnace and whatnot. And it's digital, thank goodness. Now this I did not like. Me neither. Yeah, so in a really nice coach like this, I would have expected like those pleated shades or something, but we just got kind of curtains on a track. Now, yeah, and maybe this is a personal preference thing. Maybe some people prefer this. I don't know. Yeah, now you could remove the track, but then you'd have like holes in there. But I think maybe a better solution would be to ask Leisure just not even to put that in in the first place, and we'll put in something ourselves. That's what we do. <laughs> yeah. All right. And we're poking around outside again. What's this? This is the entertainment outside entertainment center so ah. apparently you can take the TV off from the bedroom and put it out I don't see us using this much uh, our own TV's been broken for three <laughs> years <laughs> so I don't think we'd be using this much yeah. here. I, I, was, I was looking to see if I could add more batteries in here is actually what I was doing can there you? yeah yeah um, at this point I'm looking at the, uh, the little garbage can that they show in the videos it's kind of small. It's cute though, I like it. It's small, so what I was checking is to see if there's some other way under the cabinet that I could add a bigger garbage can. <laughs> it's on top of the water here, so it'd be a little cramped still, but I think I could put something bigger in there. Okay. 
Now what? Uh, this, I'm looking actually at the uh, manufacturer's statement of like cargo carrying capacity and stuff that's in there. Okay. I'll leave it up there. If you want it, you can get a video grab of it. All right. Okay, and that pretty much wraps it up for our look at the Unity 24IB, the island bed. Still on our short list. Um, I can't say enough nice things about the people here at Johnson RV in Sandy, Oregon. They let me make a total nuisance out of myself and climb all over and under this thing. And I really appreciate that. So that's it for this time, and we'll see you soon. Bye.